Are you looking to strengthen the bond between you and your cat? Or does your cat have some behavior issues you'd like to work on? Or are you just looking to have fun with your feline companion? Join me, Nina, and my cats, Flounder Meatloaf and Fiki, on a cat training journey that is fun for everyone. Just hit the subscribe button and continue watching to learn everything you need to know to enrich the lives of both you and your cat. Hey guys, welcome back. This is our first training video, so we're going to cover something really basic, which is motivation. Um, a lot of people assume that cats and dogs are food motivated and that's how they're going to train them. Uh, that's not always the case. Sometimes they are play motivated, sometimes they just want attention. Um, so it's really figuring out what that motivation is for your cat is really important, especially because cats are more difficult to motivate than dogs. Um, they're not eager to please like dogs are, so finding something that really motivates them is really important. Um, positive reinforcement involves a uh, desired stimulus after they perform the action that you wanted them to, which means you have to find some sort of reward that, that really gets them going. Um, for Flounder, uh, she was not food motivated right at first. She was more play motivated, so I had to get her to do something and then reward it with play. So that does take up a little bit more time just because it's not like she eats a treat and then goes back to training. You have to stop and play and then go back to training. So it's a little bit more time consuming, but it is worth it if, um, if that's the only thing that's motivating them. Flounder did end up uh, becoming treat motivated and the reason is because we found treats that she really liked. So if you're finding that one treat isn't working for your cat or if your cat's not really interested in treats, um, keep trying different treats until you find one that they really like. Um, and also toys, different toys are more motivating than others. So experimenting with different kind of toys that, that they might want to play with, um, that's also important. Find out which one's their favorite. Um, another thing is cats might just want pets on the head. Uh, sometimes cats aren't always very social, but sometimes like our cats are very social. Fiki, he'll do anything for a pet on the head. He just really wants attention. So uh, you kind of have to experiment with them and try to figure out what exactly is the thing that motivates them. And it might be different day to day, so you can't expect it to always be the same. Um, the other thing you have to really look at is your environment. So are there a lot of distractions? Because I started training Flounder in, indoors um, and she was not grasping things very well inside because there were a lot of distractions. All her toys were around, her brother was here, uh, her dad was walking around, you know, so it's, it's harder for her to concentrate. So I tried um, going into a room and closing the door to train her, but then her brother's outside and she hears him. So we did, that didn't work either. So I then started taking her outside uh, and we started training like just the basic stuff outside. Um, with some toys and treats and whatever I could get to motivate her. And she worked really well outside. And I think that's because her focus, when she's outside, her focus is right on me. Um, so she doesn't draw away from that. I mean, there's the occasional bird that distracts her, but uh, other than that, outside was a much better place for training. Um, and that's where we got the basics started, was outside. So keep that in mind as well, because a lot of people think that cats are just indoor only and that they should only be indoors. I highly encourage you to take your cat outside on a leash um, once they're leash trained. And leash training happens inside, that's a video for another time. Um, but taking them outside if they're having a difficult time concentrating indoors is a really good tip. Um, Another thing is if you're having a difficult time getting your cat to listen to you or to do anything or concentrate, the bond between human and cat is really, really important. So if you work on strengthening that bond, um, they're going to be more apt to pay attention to you and be more in tune to what you're asking. Tell us in the comments below what motivates your cat and hopefully we can help some other people who are having difficulties figuring out how to motivate their cats. Um, and make sure you hit the subscribe button for more training videos and we'll see you on the next video.